I was asked recently to help out a nonprofit Angel Flight through a benefit auction called Bruise and Props. Guest artists all around the community decorate propellers, then they're auctioned off to help the group provide medical flights free of charge. How could I say no, right? I just did mine a little different. Take a look at some of the competition. Guest artists have done some amazing work in the past on these propellers. Hand painted, macrame, even 3D. They're incredible. And they sell for hundreds. All the money going to the nonprofit Angel Flight. Their volunteer pilots fly people in need to get critical medical treatment. Here is my propeller. This is exactly how it comes. And most people paint these as you saw, but I'm not an artist. So I'm gonna try my own technique, a decoupaging technique we've kind of shown you before, but we're gonna show it a lot more in depth today. My goal is a really weathered looking flag. Here's the star of the show, American flag napkins, under five bucks at Marshall's. The propellers that are patriotic sell for the most money. And I'm not above cheating a little bit and uh, and going for what the people want. So that's why I chose the patriotic napkins. Plus they were on sale from the 4th of July. <laughs> Unfold the napkin. Most napkins are three ply and it's real tricky to separate them, but you've got to get it to just one ply for a good fusion. There she goes. Yeah, that's not separating. <laughs> Okay, we're going to ply. All right, so I'm gonna cut this up. I want, my, my vision is for this to be a, a, just like a cross section of the American flag. I laid out all the cuts positioned on the propeller to see how much I needed. All right, I think we're at a good point. So at first I tried applying the Mod Podge directly to the back of the napkin. Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you just need to Mod Podge it to get the third ply off. There we go. Wow, look at that, it's so thin. And when it's that thin, it would rip if I painted the glue directly on the napkin. So this time I spread the medium on the propeller itself, then laid down the napkin and smoothed it out. Beware, this is a sticky process. <laughs> Then I just tore the edges after it was completely dry. After that, one top coat of Mod Podge to seal it all up. Then I scuffed it up a bit with sandpaper to make it more weathered and cleaned up the studs so they weren't covered with paper or glue. Ready to fly. Danielle Tedesco, KOB4.